Hi guys! So I wanted to do a really quick video um, on something really useful that I found from another YouTuber. Um, it was kind of hard to find though, so I thought it might be useful to do this video. Okay, so it is about winding um, a skein. If you have a skein like this of thread, which I have a few and they're mostly like in this shape, <laughs> a little bit twisted and tangled, so I don't want them to get any worse. So I wanted to show you what how I found out how to do this with just myself. I don't need my husband to hold the skein while I wind it. Um, so first of all, I made a few little bobbins. I have this digital of this paper, so I just printed that out and then cut out some pasteboard from a cracker box and um, glued two of those on here. Um, and I didn't, you know, cut it perfectly, but whatever, it's functional. <laughs> so I have a bunch of these with lace on them too. They work pretty well. So what you do is you take your skein and you try and get it like this. Hopefully it's not too tangled yet. Um, and then you want to hook your thumb into it, into the skein like that. Oh, I should turn my light on here. Let's see if it will stay on. Okay, so hook your thumb into it and then you're gonna wrap it around the back of your hand. So, you know, keep it untwisted like, like that. So I'm gonna wrap it around the back of my hand and again, and then hook it on a finger wherever the end, this end goes to, if it's longer, it might go to this pinky. Um, but that's basically it. So I'll show you again. It's, it's very easy. So you've got your skein, you hook your thumb into the skein, and then bring the rest of the skein untwisted. There we go. And it doesn't matter where the thread is at this point, the loose thread. So um, then bring it around the back of your hand and just keep it untwisted. And there you go. Okay, so then you find the thread and you should, ooh, that's a little, ooh, that might be, okay, I gotta take it off. <laughs> I think I have it backwards. Um, it might take a little doing to figure out where your thread is because you want it on top eventually. So I put it, I put it here so it's like, pointing, well, it's sort of on the side of my fingers instead of my wrist. Um, so let's see if that will work. <laughs> so wrap it around again. Whoops. Okay. Thumb. Then wrap it around. Alright. Alright, now I should be able to Just pull it all the way out like that. Okay, so then I can um, wrap it around my bobbin. I mean, you can do it as you go. You don't have to wait until you have a big length of thread. I just did that to kind of show you where it's going. Okay, so I'll do it again. It's, it's down here now. So see it's coming from here, it's going to go back around and around there and there. Now it's going backwards. Okay, so wind it. So this is, I love this because it's so convenient. I don't need to wait until 
my husband is not doing something for him to help me and then I can keep my threads untangled. So I hope you thought this was helpful. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know. If I didn't show it, maybe I should do a close up. The thing is then you won't get to see all the thread, but let's try it. Okay. Okay. So here we have our skein. Go thumb into the skein and then pull the skein around the back of your hand. Like that. And you just basically wind it around and around until the end. And you might have to, you know, you want to keep it relatively tight so it doesn't fall off your hand, but you should be able to do that. And then just pull the thread. Okay, that's a good length. And then wind it around <clears throat> your bobbin, whatever your bobbin happens to be. Okay, so that is it. I will see you later. <laughs> Bye.